Dinah Shore, a celebrated figure in the entertainment industry, rose to fame with her unique voice and charming screen presence. She became a beloved singer, actress, and television host, remembered for her warm personality and ability to connect with audiences. Her television show, The Dinah Shore Chevy Show, ran successfully for many years, showcasing her talents and earning her numerous accolades, including multiple Emmy Awards. Dinah's influence extended beyond entertainment as she became an advocate for professional golf, helping to establish the LPGA Tour and hosting the Dinah Shore Golf Tournament. Her legacy lies on not only through her contributions to music and television, but also in her support of women's professional sports. Dinah Shore was a talented actress and singer who brought warmth and charm to every performance. With a career that spanned several decades, she became a familiar face on television and in music, touching the hearts of many. As we look back on her legacy, we invite you to reflect on your own experiences with Dinah Shore's work. What was the first show or song of hers that you remember? How has her unique style or personality influenced you or left a lasting impression? We're eager to hear about your most treasured memory involving Dinah Shore. Your stories and recollections are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting facts about Dinah Shore's life to share, including moments that will surprise you, make you laugh, and maybe even bring a tear to your eye. Your engagement means a lot, and we can't wait to connect through these shared memories. Dinah Shore, born as Frances Rose Shore, was raised in Winchester, Tennessee. Her father was a shopkeeper, and her mother took care of the family home. From a young age, Dinah showed an interest in music, influenced by her mother's love for singing. She took piano lessons and sang at local events. Her family's support was crucial in her pursuit of a career in entertainment. They encouraged her to study classical music, and later, at Vanderbilt University, she majored in sociology but continued to focus on her music, performing on the radio, and with bands. Her big break came when she moved to New York and started singing on a national radio program, which led to opportunities in film and television. Shore's early exposure to music within her family and community, along with the encouragement to perform, were significant influences in her path to becoming a successful singer and actress. Dinah Shore was born on February 29, 1916, in Winchester, Tennessee. Her birth name was Frances Rose Shore, and she was the daughter of shopkeepers. Her family faced challenges, but they supported her interest in music. Shore's singing talent became evident early on, and she sang on the radio as a young girl. She attended Vanderbilt University, where she studied sociology and participated in many school plays. Her college years played a significant role in her development as a performer. After graduation, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in singing which led her to become a successful singer, actress, and television host. Her early life in Tennessee and her time at university were key influences in her career path. Dinah Shore, a beloved actress and singer, found her calling in entertainment early on. As a young girl, she was often found singing before family and friends, showing a natural talent that delighted those around her. Her deep love for music and performing was evident even then. It was during her time at Vanderbilt University that she truly embraced her passion. After entering and winning a campus singing contest, Dinah felt an undeniable pull towards a career in entertainment. This victory was more than just a win. It was a clear sign that her voice had the power to captivate an audience. From that moment, she dedicated herself to honing her craft, a decision that would lead her to become one of the most adored performers of her time. Dinah Shore stepped into the spotlight when she recorded the songs for Call Me Madam, filling in for Ethel Merman. Despite not being part of the original cast, her voice carried the tunes that many came to love. At a young age, Dinah faced a significant challenge when she contracted polio. Her determination and extensive physical therapy not only led to a full recovery, but also sparked her passion for sports. This love for athletics stayed with her throughout her life. In recognition of her influence on television, Dinah was honored with her image on a 44 cent USA postage stamp. This stamp, part of the early TV memories issue, was released in 2009 and celebrated her work on the Dinah Shore show, which began in 1951. Dinah Shore, a talented actress and singer, 
faced many challenges in her early career. She struggled with financial issues and had to work various jobs to support herself. The entertainment industry was also doubtful of her abilities. Despite these obstacles, Dinah showed great determination. She used her unique voice and charisma to win over audiences and eventually gain roles on radio, TV, and in films. Her creative approach and hard work led to a successful career in entertainment, inspiring many with her story of overcoming adversity. Dinah Shore, a talented actress and singer, achieved recognition in golf, a sport she loved. Her passion and dedication to the game led to her induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame. Her connection to golf extended beyond playing. She also hosted a women's golf tournament, making a significant mark in the sport. In a tragic event, many of her recordings were lost in the Universal Studios fire, a loss felt by music and film fans. Additionally, her college years were marked by her membership in the Alpha Epsilon Phi sorority, reflecting her active involvement in community and camaraderie from an early age. These aspects of her life highlight her diverse interests and the legacy she left in entertainment and sports. Dinah Shore's career had several key moments that stood out. Her first big break came when she became a popular singer on the radio in the 1940s. This success led to her own radio show, which was a hit. She then moved to television, where she hosted a variety show that won her praise for her warm, engaging style. Her show was one of the first to feature African-American guests, which was a bold move at the time. People who worked with her said she was a joy to work with and always professional. Critics admired her for breaking new ground in television and for her natural talent as a host. Her work on TV helped pave the way for other women in the industry. Dinah Shore made her home in a single-level house within the Mission Hills Country Club in Rancho Mirage, California. She was known to have a warm relationship with her neighbors, including Donald and Geraldine Donovan. In 2009, the United States Postal Service celebrated the legacy of early American television by releasing stamps featuring iconic shows, including The Dinah Shore Show. This was part of a larger collection that paid tribute to classic TV programs. Dinah's family background is rooted in Russia, with her parents being of Russian Jewish descent. Her father was a successful business owner in Tennessee, dealing in dry goods. This history reflects the diverse cultural fabric of America and the varied backgrounds of its entertainers. Dinah Shore, a talented actress and singer, had a unique way of bringing roles to life. She believed in understanding the character deeply, often drawing from her own life to add depth to her performances. Her southern upbringing and the challenges she faced gave her a strong sense of empathy, which she expressed through her acting. She was known for her warm, engaging presence on screen, which made viewers feel close to her characters. Dinah's approach was all about connecting with the audience, sharing stories that were honest, and Heartful Lieutenant, her work reflects her belief in the goodness of people and the importance of kindness and humor. Dinah Shore's home in Palm Spring, California, stands out for its unique prairie-style design. Today, it's a popular rental for weekends, complete with a cook, and made to cater to guest needs. At the end of her life, Dinah was surrounded by her loved ones, including her former husband George Montgomery and their two children. In 2009, the United States Postal Service celebrated the legacy of early American television by releasing stamps featuring the Dinah Shore show among other classic programs. This honor reflects the show's place in television history and its lasting appeal to audiences. Dinah Shore was a significant figure in the entertainment industry, especially during the mid-20th century. She was known for her singing, acting, and television presence. Her warm voice and personality won over audiences, making her a popular choice for radio, TV, and film. She hosted her own television show, which was a new trend at the time, paving the way for other women in the industry. Her style of hosting and engaging with the audience was adopted by many who came after her. Experts note that her approach to storytelling and connecting with viewers was ahead of its time, influencing how shows were made. Those inspired by her often speak of her genuine nature and ability to draw people in, which they try to emulate in their own careers. Dinah Shore's career is a clear example of how one person's work can shape an industry and inspire future generations. 
Dinah Shore's voice graced the end credits of a show, singing I'll Be Seeing You, during a time when she shared her life with actor Burt Reynolds. In her birthplace, Winchester, Tennessee, a road carries her name, Dinah Shore Boulevard, as a tribute to her. In the world of television, Lucille Ball and Carol Burnett shared a special bond. Lucille was a guest on Carol's variety shows, and Carol appeared on Lucille's sitcoms. They both visited Dinah Shore's talk show in the late 1970s. Carol Burnett has spoken about how Lucille Ball supported her career by offering her roles when others did not. Dinah Shore, known for her acting and singing, also led a life rich with personal interests that shaped her work. She loved golf and even hosted a women's golf tournament which helped raise money for cancer research. Shore was dedicated to helping others and supported many causes. She worked hard to improve children's lives and was involved with the fight against a serious health issue, arthritis. Her commitment to these causes was deep and personal, often sharing her time and resources generously. Dinah Shore's life off screen was filled with acts of kindness and support for those in need, reflecting her caring nature and strong values. Her personal life was a testament to her belief in giving back and making a difference beyond her entertainment career. Dinah Shore was a woman of many talents and interests. Her dedication to entertaining troops during World War II earned her the Yuzo Medallion Award, making her the first performer to receive such an honor for visiting soldiers on the front lines. Beyond her life on stage and screen, Dinah had a deep love for painting and creating cookbooks, sharing her culinary skills with others. In her political life, she initially registered as a Republican, but changed her views under the influence of Ronald Reagan, who was a Democrat at the time. Their friendship endured even after Reagan became a Republican, and Dinah was often seen at the White House as a guest of the Reagans. This connection was highlighted by her friend Marion Tattashore, who remembered Dinah as a true Democrat at heart, yet one who held a place for the Reagans in her circle of friends. Dinah Shore was a talented actress and singer who left a strong impression on the entertainment industry. She showed that hard work and kindness go a long way. For those starting in the field, she would advise learning from every experience and always being open to growth. Shore believed in treating people with respect and finding joy in the work you do. Her future efforts would likely focus on supporting new talent and encouraging creative expression in all forms. Shore's guidance for newcomers would be to stay true to oneself, work diligently, and always be ready to listen and learn. Dinah Shore left a unique mark in two different resting places. Her remains are shared between Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Cathedral City and Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. Her presence was felt not just in music, but also in film. When Johnny Carson chose not to appear in the movie, oh God, Dinah Shore stepped in to play herself, bringing her charm to the silver screen. Before her television success, she was the voice that welcomed many listeners on NBC Radio's Birdseye Open House from 1943 to 1946, making her a familiar sound in homes across America. Dinah Shore's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by her strong passion and innovative approach. She became a beloved figure on screen and in music, always pushing the boundaries of what was expected. Her shows were a place of warmth and her voice a familiar comfort to many. She showed that with creativity and hard work. One can leave a lasting impression that continues to inspire. Dinah's story is a testament to the power of creativity and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Her work and spirit lime on, encouraging others to pursue their passions with the same fervor. Dinah Shore, a well-known actress and singer, expanded her family by welcoming her daughter Melissa Ann in January 1948. She also opened her heart and home to her adopted son, John David Montgomery. Pioneering in the entertainment industry, Dinah became the first woman to host her own primetime television variety show, setting a precedent for female entertainers. Her talents and contributions were recognized with three stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame each representing her achievements in recording, radio, and television, located at 691, 1 751 Vine Street, and 6916 Hollywood Boulevard, respectively. Dinah Shore was honored with the Peabody Award in 1957 for her work on The Dinah Shore Show, 
recognizing her excellence on television. A road carries her name, Dine at Shore Drive, connecting Rancho Mirage and Cathedral City in California, a tribute to her influence. She also shared a significant relationship with actor Burt Reynolds, despite a 20-year age difference, which drew attention during its time. Dinah Shore, a beloved American singer, actress, and television personality, faced a personal tragedy that was as unexpected as it was heartbreaking. In the prime of her career, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Despite her vibrant public persona, she battled this private pain away from the limelight. Her struggle with the disease and her eventual passing on February 24, 1994, at the age of 77, left her fans and the entertainment community in deep sorrow. Dinah's courage in the face of such adversity, however, remains a testament to her strength and resilience, qualities that endeared her to audiences for decades. Dinah Shore was a talented actress and singer who brought joy to many. Her performances were full of warmth and charm, making her a favorite on screen and in music. We invite you to share your favorite memories of Dinah Shore's performances and the way she touched your life. Your stories help keep her memory alive and inspire others. If you enjoy remembering the great talents who have shaped our entertainment, please like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe for more content that celebrates these wonderful artists. Your support helps us bring more stories and memories to you. Thank you for watching and sharing your thoughts with us.